Dobry deň, fellow Vita comrades and welcome. March is here, everything's in bloom, same as Vita Humber goodness. It's blooming more than ever and it's coming your way right about now. First new release is a port of Candy Crisis by Rune Gatamente. It's your classical match for then they'll pop kind of game. You can play it alone or with a friend on a split screen. Not sure how comfortable that would be, but to have an option is always a good thing. I believe this game was originally available on old Windows and Macs. Get it for free from the link down below. Second, we got a port of uh, I Wanna Reach Unity by Mega Game Boy. It is a fan-made game created as a final project for computer science class. It is a 2D platformer. You can jump, you can shoot, you can self-destruct. I always liked self-destructions. There are like five stages plus tutorial. There is some fun to have here. If you are into platformers, game is for free with the size about 280 megabytes. Also guys, if you are enjoying these videos, like and subscribe because there is certainly more to come. Third new port by Rin is Aerofoil, which is an open source re-implementation of Glider Pro, the classic Macintosh paper airplane game, where you control a small paper airplane through different levels and you gotta collect all the stars scattered around the area without crashing the plane. It's a paper airplane, so you gotta use Wentz to gain the height, otherwise you'll fall down. There are also other collectibles and power-ups hidden around. You can even choose from different levels slash different houses. I haven't tried this game back in the day, but I like it. If you do too, you know what to do. It's for free. Fourth is a clone of Cut the Rope by Spanish Freddy, made in Unity. For now there are only three levels available, hopefully more will come in the future. Fifth is a port of Lango by Parallel Productions. It is a simple open source Godot 2D RPG inspired by Zelda and it was originally created with intention of serving as an initial base for you to create your own game in Godot Engine. There are some useful links at the GitHub page, feel free to check them out. And the guy who ported this game has also made tutorial how to port any 2D Godot game to PS Vita on his YouTube channel. Give it a watch if you're into it, link is down below. Sixth is a port of Funky Smugglers, originally developed by 11-Bit Studios and ported by Renegatamente. It is a simple, fast-paced grab and toss game. You are standing behind X-ray machine at the airport and you are trying to grab and toss away as many illegal goods that are passengers carrying as humanly possible. You can stack the items you grab for extra combo points, but you can only hold on to them for a certain amount of time. There are a bunch of power-ups that you can collect like slow-mo, there is a funky music playing in the background, an overall pretty fun game, I dig it. You're gonna need also game files for this one, in case you need any help with setting it up, please check our Discord. Seventh is the port of Anomaly Warzone Earth by Renegatamente and originally also developed by 11-Bit Studios. 
This is very original game. It's like a top-down, reversed uh, tower defense formula. So it's like a tower offense or, or offensive defense. You lead an armored squad of vehicles through the town. You gotta destroy the enemy and save the earth from an alien onslaught. You plan the road, then you strategically choose which units to deploy. And you also take control of commander with special abilities that are vital for the mission to be accomplished. Graphics are pleasant, controls are by touch only. You gotta use a lot of tactical thinking, but I found this game to be very fun and entertaining. I'm sure you're gonna like it. So go install it today and have some fun. Don't forget your game files, cause you're gonna need it for this one. And what's more, there is even Anomaly Korea available, which is a separate game and it serves as an expansion campaign for Wars on Earth. Plus, there was even Anomaly 2 released, so in case you crave for more tower offensive goodness, install all of them and let me know if you like it. All of these games were ported by Rin, he's pumping out these ports insanely fast, it's even hard to keep up with it. Big up to him for all the hard work. He ported also Sleepwalker's Journey, yet another new release, I already lost the count, no idea what number we are at, cause there are so many of them. So Sleepwalker's Journey is kinda platformer, but the character is walking by himself, automatically, and you gotta solve these environmental puzzles to reach the end goal in each level. You gotta move the obstacles, use elevators, interact with objects, the graphics are stunning and the soundtrack is a pleasure to listen to. Today's video is in 11-bit studios theme, cause Sleepwalker's Journey as well as our upcoming port were developed also by them. I think Rin said all these games use same engine which made them much easier to port. And the upcoming port is Anomaly Defenders, which is this time tower defense game. It is basically the same thing with the same theme, but it's reversed, so you actually get towers and you can defend. You can strategically build new ones, the graphics are spot on, controls by touch only of course, cause it's an Android port. And with the release of Anomaly Defenders, we're officially at 40 Android games supported by Flows.so Loader Wrapper. This is a great moment for the whole homebrew community, cause we have come a long way since the homebrew beginning up until now with 40 ports behind our belts. Majority of them happened mostly cause of Rin's endeavors, which is mind blowing and it also reminds me that you should also update his port of Quake 3, where multi-threaded support and gyro aiming were introduced. Return to the Castle Wolfenstein also received gyro aiming and our favorite Vita Voyager holosuit also received renderer improvements, gyro aiming and bug fixes. If you have any of these ports running, just update the VPK and you are good to go. Now a quick look at our Discord, Bonk wants to share with you personal mod packs. There is a definitive edition Persona 2 Eternal Punishment with translation, English dubbing and HD intro. There is a mod pack for Persona 3 Portable as well as for Persona 4 Golden which features 24 new Personas. Some even have HD models ripped directly from Persona 5. There is a showcase video of all the models on his YouTube channel, link is down below. Plus you can see all the changes on the screen right now. Macfy wants to share with you old CD retail style menu with old music theme for Half-Life Opposing Forces and Blue Shift. There are also more new Polish translations for Half-Life, for Opposing Forces and even for Fallout 1. So if you are Polish, go and get them. I still have somewhere buried my old Czech Fallout version. I believe this should work too, I just gotta get to it. One last thing before we sign off. I know it takes a bit longer, but it's good news, so it's definitely worth it. Rene Gattamento is asking us if we are interested in a Mega Pack release with all his unfinished work in progress ports. I don't know about you, but I would absolutely love to play Doom 3 on my PS Vita, even at 9 FPS and with no lightning. What about you? He also mentioned other games, as you can see in the tweet. 
But there are no guarantees, no support, of course, it's gonna be what it is, no official release. This video could have been easily about Rin and 11 Boot Studios alone, so if you wanna support him even further, I'm leaving his Patreon down below. Thanks to you for watching, thanks to developers for hard work, thanks to members for support, like, subscribe, join to help create even more content on this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!